My name is Joel Moore. My artist's name is Mulga. I've been making art full time for about a year and a half. Before that I worked in financial planning for about 10 years. It's not as fun as making art, I can tell you that much. I saw Mulga's artwork down on the promenade and when I first saw it I went, that is just really, really cool. That would really suit the bucket list as well. The art I do is bright, colourful, fun, characters, beards, animals. Keep it weird and funny, hopefully. I love the beach and I like drawing kind of summery creatures and the bucket list is a pretty cool restaurant on the beach. I love the palm trees and the glasses that he does. It just speaks to coastal surf beach, which is what we're all about. I've always been drawing in notebooks and stuff like that. About six years ago I started a blog. In February 2012 I had my first art show and that's when I first sold art. But yeah, painting on coolers, it's kind of cool to paint on you know, something that's going to be used in a cool kind of object, a cool shape. The cooler's taken about a day to paint, so it's been nice sitting in the sun and painting some funky gorillas. I like using Poscas because the colours are nice and bright, it's easy and quick. So it's like a quick paint in the pen, so instead of using brushes, trying to mix colours, the colours are already made. And on the cooler I'm also using this paint, it's like fluoro paint. So if you're trying to glow light on the coolers, they'll probably glow. I like green and aquas and blue. I'm going to do these with some fluoros. I like to have the tongues poking out sometimes, make them seem a bit cheekier. I guess I like painting animals because it's cool to use the pattern and the right colours and the live and living and kind of they've got a character. Summer's definitely my favourite season so I love them have sunglasses on, palm trees, the gorillas, lions, tigers, bisons. They're probably one of my favourite animals in the world actually. They're good because they're all a bit of these hairy bearded animals. I guess the speeds are kind of magic we can kind of achieve greater things. Well, the elephants aren't hairy, but I gave that guy a beard. I think that's Spout Trunk Sammy. Usually name all the characters I draw and write a little story about them in the poem. I just find it interesting to write a little story about it. It gives a bit more depth to the characters. So the top is going to be this raindroppy pattern. On the cooler I've created two gorilla dudes, so there's like a face on each side and they're kind of similar coloured fur but a bit different and it kind of merges so they're kind of like Pedro twins. Siamese funky chiller gorillas. The bucket list is it's got lots of cool art in there, it's all kind of beachy themed, a bit nautical. Just wanted to create a really good beach bar vibe, different from everything else. We were sitting here at this table like this and I sort of wanted to leave the rope display behind me as rope and that's when he told me about Captain Gorilla. This one's going to be a bit more nautical thing, whereas the one on the corners are just more chillers with their sons. They're probably brothers. The one on the mirror is probably like the older brother and then the two Siamese twins are the little brothers. Cool. He's got a little pipe in his mouth and he puts it behind the rope and it looks like he's sort of behind bars. I was like, perfect fit. 